Okay, we're going to talk about lab view variables. First thing we need to really do is to discuss a little bit about number types. So I'm going to drop down a numeric control. You can see I got a icon here. His default is a double precision real number. And I'm going to click on this and go to representation. In representation, you'll see I have a whole bunch of options here. I have U8, U16, U32. These are um, integer values. This, these are unsigned integers. The I's are signed integers. An unsigned integer 8-bit has a range of 0 to 256. A signed integer has a range of plus or minus 128. Okay, half of it, but it will go positive and negative. Real numbers, you have single precision and also double precision. There are some fixed point and some extended precisions, which you probably aren't going to use at this point, but fixed point is common in some kinds of um, data acquisition applications. So what we've created here is we have a numeric control. And in addition to changing what his type is, and we'll just change him to a U16, okay, just so he is, I can right click on this and I can say create a local variable. Local variables are useful within a single VI. In other words, I can, and to duplicate this guy, I am going to click on him and then just do a control click drag, standard Windows stuff, that will duplicate it. If you right click on this and do a copy paste, okay, so I'm gonna do a control C and a control V, you'll notice that I also get the numeric control with it. So it copies both portions of it, okay? So I have these two numeric values. I can right click on them and I can change, change them to reads or I can have them as writes, okay? These are executable within only one VI. In other words, I can have multiple loops and I can use these inside this VI even if they're in multiple loops. I cannot use this between one VI and another. These are local only to this particular VI, okay? One thing you wanna be a little bit cautious of is if you have, let's just say I've got a loop running and I'm gonna drop down a while loop here, okay? And I'm going to do something that puts a value into this one right here, okay? There is no guarantee that this value and this value will contain the same thing during this iteration. And the reason for that is because when the computer executes, the first thing it does is it tries to look at all the things that are valid. This constant zero is a valid, okay? This numeric is valid, all right? So this one is not yet valid because it hasn't processed that far. So as the program processes, now what it's gonna do is transfer this zero into this numeric. This copy right here of that local variable will not see it until the next iteration of the loop because it's already been evaluated. Just so you know, these are race conditions. They are bad news. You need to avoid them, all right? You should never have a numeric uh, sorry, a local variable read and write within the same uh, executable frame. Another kind of variable we have are what are called global variables. So I'm going to drop down a global variable here, and I'm going to double click it, and you see it opens what looks like a front pane. The difference for this is there is no... Um, block diagram with this one. This is just the front pane. So I'm going to drop down a couple things in here. We'll call this number one, oops, number one. And we're going to call this one number two. And oh, let's just drop a switch down. Where's a switch? Here's a switch. Switch one. Okay, so now I have three of these. I'm gonna save this to my desktop as a global. 
So we're going to go to the desktop and I'm going to save this as, uh, oh, let's call it test global. I have now saved this guy. He now exists. I can even close him. So I can go here and I want to, oops. I can't relink him, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to delete him. Now I wanna go use that global variable that I just created. So I'm gonna go down here to select VI and I'm gonna find my test global right there and I'm gonna drop it down, okay? Notice that it started with the first thing that I put in. I can right click on it, tell it select item, and I can pick any one of the variables that are in there. There's number two. And if I wanna make it a read, I can change them to a read. These are global, which means I can use these in multiple VIs. So if I wanna pass data from one VI to another, this is how I would do it, is using a global variable. There are other methods, but this is by far the easiest. And that is local and global variables.